Hi Church, my name is Joel. Uh, I'm part of the broader pastoral team here at Central Manchester campus. Uh, I've been asked today to speak to you about one of my favourite proverbs, which is uh, Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 23, um, which is meaningful to me because uh, when I was a child, my parents would give me these tiny little booklets, um, which were filled with powerful and practical scriptures about faith, about healing, uh, and a range of, of God's biblical promises. Um, both to build my faith, but also, whilst I wouldn't understand this until I was older, uh, teach me how to live out Proverbs 4, verse 5, which instructs us to get wisdom, to get understanding. That's something that Pastor Glynn preached on recently uh, on Sunday morning. In Ephesians 5 and verse 15, we read, to be very careful how you live then, not as unwise, but as wise, and making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Here in Ephesians, God is commanding us to live in wisdom um, so that we don't live like fools and those who are ignorant. And Proverbs is stacked with practical examples of wisdom for all areas of our lives. Proverbs 23 and verse 23 tells us to buy the truth and do not sell it. Wisdom, instruction and insight as well. This proverb isn't as well known maybe as some others, but it's a favourite of mine because it really encapsulates what Proverbs as a book is all about and how compassionate and committed God is to, live, to us living life to the fullest, and to us understanding God's character and his design for life. And it speaks to me about how important it is to know and understand God's word, to create time to study it and meditate on it. The beauty of this, this proverb for me is that God gives us wisdom freely through his word. We hear in Proverbs 2 verse 6, For the Lord gives wisdom, and from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Proverbs 23 tells us that God's wisdom is so valuable, so precious that it's something that we should intentionally make an effort to obtain, even if it costs us. The proverb speaks specifically to wisdom, to instruction and insight. Wisdom is not just knowledge, but a really deep understanding that informs our lives. Instruction implies a commitment to obedience, to obeying God so that our character might be moulded. And insight is not just an intellectual understanding, but a real discernment of God's way all of which we can secure by being committed to read the book. That's it for me today. Hope this blessed you in some small way. Have a great day uh, and see you Sunday.